Hi folks, I thought I'd give you a quick 360 of the latest build. Uh, it's one of the Regulator Resonator series. We've got a really nice sort of age looking copper cone this time. I've used brass and aluminium in the past, thought I'd have a go at copper and you get a really nice tone out of it and just love the vintage look of it. Uh, which is why I sort of followed that through with a box giving it a nice dark stain that's, uh, what was it, dark teak uh, with a lacquer finish. Uh, traditional F-holes there, I sort of changed the style of those, made them slightly bigger, a little bit more sound out. And you see they got a uh, brass mesh covering to the inside there. Uh, we've got a pig squealer pick up there by the neck. Uh, I think on my homemade sewing machine winder, I got seven and a half thousand winds on that. It's a really nice punchy pickup. Does sound uh, does sound good that one. So there's the box. We've gone for the mandolin tailpiece. Very easy to change the strings. Just slide the cover off, slot the strings through. Job done. Uh, the cone I should have said comes all the way from Texas. Uh, old pal there, old low spins these out in his uh, little Texas workshop and they sound absolutely beautiful. Uh, the biscuit and bridge, uh, the biscuit is Sapili and uh, the bridge I made from oak and you get a nice tone from the two of those. Uh, deckled up the biscuit there with the Texas tone cone. Again you've got some decals up here and around the actual cone itself. This one's the Regulator Mark III. Uh, it's not on the website yet because uh, Mick from Lancashire has got first uh, first shouts on this one. Uh, volume controls, uh, volume gone for the, the brass T-bar look. I just think it suits this style of build, so I've gone for those. Got your tone there, volume there. Again, carried on the theme round the side of the box. Uh, nice corner protectors front and back. Go. Going round to the other side, You've got the catches each side there, and round the back, we've got a nice uh, Gunksville cigar label. Don't know if the camera gets that. Uh, the lacquer can be quite shiny when I've got it in front of the camera. Uh, gone for a bolt on neck, and the neck is made of poplar, uh, which has been stained up, teak coloured, the same as the same as the box and the fretboard is maple. Uh, three stringer, it's the head there. I don't know if the camera will pick up the tuners uh, very well but they're, they're an aged copper effect and I think they look cracking against the uh, the colour of the stain. Just keeps everything in, in keeping. Don't like things to look new, <laughs> you know, traditional guitars like this should still look a bit old and worn a few marks, you know, they've got to be uh, in keeping. So uh, so there is the latest one, the Regulator Mark III. Uh, nice loud cone and again with the with the holes you get a bit of sound out here if I can just balance it in front of the camera. Uh, but I will plug her in and give you a blast so you can see what it sounds like for the amp. Okay, back in a sec. The old pause the video and grab a quick roll in a glass of wine trick. Works every time. Okay, so we're plugged in and uh, sound through the amp uh, with the cop cone and uh, the pig squealer.
very much, but you get the, uh, get the general idea. Mark 3. Thanks very much. Cheers.